What is up, my peeps? Call me peeps. are back for episode three of our Pokemon White. Their Pokemon Black too. I apologize. Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last part, we got a first encounter, and as my shirt had said, we've met with a terrible fate, and we lost our first encounter. So we're still stuck with one Pokemon here. We have Plague, Eradicate, Sassy Natured. Oh, it makes me so sad. Guts Boost, which could be helpful. Tackle, Tail Whip, Quick Attack. <coughs> Excuse me, and focus energy. So, <sighs> Route 19 was not kind to us. We're gonna move over here to Route 20 and hope that we can get some better luck with encounters. Please don't have a fighting type or a ghost type. Stray, okay. We can handle Staravia. If we get a fighting type with super effective on us, if we get a ghost type, then we're kind of in trouble. And why does so? Why do so many early game Pokemon have Intimidate? Stop it. Or if we find a... What's it called? Um, ghost type. Then we're not even going to be able to touch the thing. So that won't be good. We can two-shot the Staravia, which is nice. Get out of here, Cyclist Kim. I'm scared running around with one Pokemon for the very reasons I just explained. Now we are on... I just want to make sure real quick. I'm pretty sure we changed Route 20, correct? Route 20. Okay. And there's, uh, there's nowhere we can get an encounter. No grass over here, right? Okay, yeah, fine, fine, whatever. Route 20, though, we can try to get a new encounter. We'll have to, looks like we'll have to make our way through one more fight. We also have an item there, which could be interesting. So, all this battle loads up. Uh, all this battle loads up here. Go ahead and start my notes. Whoops, not under the deaths. What, is, did the trainer Pokemon get randomized? It, I mean, it doesn't seem like they did. I mean, I don't think they'd have a Staravia this early on, so I think they did, but it's a lot of birds, and it's also a lot of, like, basic birds. I don't know, we'll see. They should be randomized, I know I did. We'll just have to fight a couple more trainers and see. Oh yeah, well she originally has a Purloin, so look at that. I guess it worked. Alright, Route 20. XP, great. We can sell that. Route 20, give us something good. Come on, please. Okay, okay. I'm I'm not mad about that. War Turtle. This is, uh... This is not bad. I mean, War Turtle's a starter. I guess it's a part of the starter line. It's not a starter itself. That bubble might hurt, though. Never mind. Uh, is Quick Attack weaker than Tackle? Oh, you know what? I don't want to risk it. Let's just throw a Pokeball. The problem with starters is their catch rate is incredibly high. In theory, it should live another Quick Attack, but I don't want to risk it. Mm, we might have to, though. It should have Growl. If it growls us, then I would be more than happy to Quick Attack it again. Not Tail Whip, though. Don't Tail Whip us. Yeah, starters have such a high catch rate. This is a... Fudge! And I guess it doesn't matter. Bubble is special, so... We'll throw these two balls and then Quick Attack if we need to. Oh, boy. One. Two. Three. Thank you. We caught War Turtle. I already have a nickname for War Turtle. War Turtle. Alright, this makes me feel better, because Blastoise can be kind of a wall. Blastoise has some bulk to it, so we now have a somewhat defensive Pokemon. Which is good. But I already have a nickname for this and everything. It's making me, this makes me feel a lot better about everything. It is said to live 10,000 years. That's a long time. That would suck, really. I mean, you're gonna go through so many trainers in 10,000 years. It's Furry tail is popular as a symbol of longevity. Longevity. And of course, we'll nickname you. We have the nickname of... It's not the best nickname, but in Final Fantasy, they have a bunch of... Uh, I have a bunch of creature called Adamantoy, but I don't think it... A-D-A-M-A-N-T-O-I... Yeah, it's one letter too long. So, in Final Fantasy 13. 
they call the same thing. Instead of admin toy or admin toys, they call them longoys. So, I go with longoy because Blastoise reminds me of an admin toys. Just because it's like a turtle shell thing, you know, kind of the kind of a similar in theory. And uh, so longoy, you know, why not? I think it's a fitting name. But this makes me feel a lot happier about everything. Let's take a look at longoy here. Bold nature. So, ups defense, throws attack. I'm actually okay with that. It just adds to his bulk that he's gonna have. And not only that, he doesn't start with growl. I guess he starts with tail whips, so that's why. But, his ability, torrent, meh. But, uh, you know, I do like I do like his nature, because, I mean, a lot, aren't most water moves, like, special anyways? So, lowering our attack to get some more bulk is not bad. So I'm okay with that, so we'll throw him out front, start getting him some training. Because Plague, I mean, it's just Eradicate. It's level 8, so it can hold its own for now. I'm just glad about this, because now we don't have to worry about fighting types. At least not for a while. And we don't have to worry about ghost types completely nerfing and walling us, so... Okay. Anyways, let's, let's get back up to the route. We might be able to get another encounter in Flosessi. Oh, you're not a trainer? Okay. I thought she might want to battle, but never mind. In uh, the Flosessi Ranch, we'll be able to get another encounter. That might be the last one until trainer school. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. Clean claim. All right. Well, they're definitely randomized. This could be... Uh, this could be a problem. Does water resist steel? I actually don't know. And it's raising a special defense, which means we're not going to do anything to it. Oh my gosh, we're going to be here forever. We're going to be here forever. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Why did we have to meet another wall Pokemon so soon? I actually... Gear grab... That's going to hurt. Does water resist steel? I feel like it does. But at the same time, I feel like it doesn't. I don't know. All I know is we are... It has Thundershock. Okay. Um... Boy, this kind of sucks. What are your defenses in comparison? 13 and 12. 14 and 18. Okay. So let's go with the Plague. Maybe a Thundershock can give us Paralyze and we can get the Guts boost. I, I don't know what we're supposed to do. Vice Grip. My only thing is we focus energy and then Tail Whip it enough. I'm just going to speed up because we're going to be sitting here. Oh, sweet. So we're going to get the Guts boost. Oh, that's actually going to hurt. Gosh, why do you have to do this? Alright, we'll go focus energy now. Thundershock, that should be okay. Alright, now we'll heal. And then we'll see how much a quick attack does. Or we'll check and see if tackle or quick attack's more powerful. Hopefully the guts boost can help us out here. I don't know how much it's gonna help, but uh we'll see. Why'd we have to meet a steel type? Oh my gosh. Tackle is 50, Quick Attack's 40, right? Okay, so Tackle's going to be the better choice here. Which also makes me glad that I did not tackle the... Eh, raising his special is not going to do too much. We're not, I mean, obviously Plague here is a physical attacker. Oh! Okay, we made it past this thing. Oh my gosh, that should be worth some XP, right? Yeah. Hopefully Longboy can get a level. Plague, I love you. The Guts boost might have been a big help here. Ooh, Longoy, get those levels. Oh, Longoy! We had to use a potion, but uh, that was definitely worth those levels. Longoy picked up three levels, and Plague here got one level as well. Ooh, so good. So good, so good, so good. An early game, probably actually through most of the game, you'll be running back to Poke Centers to heal, because we don't have the money to, you know, supplement. <laughs> supplement our medication for now. I mean, we still, we're already running out of Pokeballs. 
we are basically broke because no one early game gives you money. So we can get another encounter in the Flo Sessi Ranch. Not quite interested in that yet. Gosh dang it. Although actually we might be because... Yeah, as I say, he doesn't let us through. Alright, well we can go try and get a new encounter. I got a lava cookie. Meh. Who cares about all... I mean... It's, it's a cookie made of lava. Maybe War Turtle? Maybe Longboy could eat it? But other than that, I don't know. Alright, so we're in the Flo Sessi Ranch, so we could get a new encounter here. Alex, uh, it's Alex's birthday today, by the way, 421. Oh, nice! You're here to toughen up? Alright, let's see how much stronger you become. Come here! This rival battle is not going to be the funnest thing in the world, but I don't really have a choice. Maybe I should have got our encounter first. Oh, is he just going to have a swanner? Okay. Alright, this is not completely scary simply because it's just Swana. What is Swana gonna have? We can just tail whip it a couple times. Water gun will resist that. Yeah. Big pecs. Okay, how much will a tackle do then? Gosh dang it. We're gonna be here a while again. That one might hurt. Oh! Okay, Swana, you are a little too strong. Why is my phone just continuously going off nonstop? I don't understand this. Like, I never get texts, but it, for some reason, every time I start recording, just immediately. Fire's power is weakened. We're not using fire. Um, I should have tail whipped with... Oh, wait, die, I tried. So, I guess focus energy, quick attacks. No, tackles are more powerful. Speed's not hugely important here. Oh, there we go. That, that, that'll do the trick. Those stab tackles are no joke early game. Defog? That'll do nothing. Go ahead. Heal. 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 I don't care. We're not evasive. Go ahead. I dare you. Oh, he didn't. So this Swana should be worth some XP as well. Longway might go up to 8. Oh gosh, Longoy is definitely going to go up to 8. Awesome, so we got Longoy caught up. Longoy is in level 9? Longoy's already caught up to Plague. Okay. Alex gave us 6... Was that 6 or 800? Either way, that's a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> not bad. You're thinking about how to bring out your Pokemon strength. I should be able to count on you for backup. What are you doing here anyway? Huh? A town map? Bruh, we just mollywopped you twice in three episodes. You're our backup. What? Ch she didn't have to do that. Thanks to you too, we just left, and you've already helped me out. Watch our encounter be an electric type that has Thundershock or something. It would have really helped with Swana, because Swana's four times weak to Thunder. That's a weakness on his team right there if I've ever seen one. I thought it uh, He's like a farmer. I don't know what farmers sound like. I thought it was lively around here. You were having a Pokemon battle, huh? Isn't it nice to be young? Who are you? Who am I? I'm the owner of this ranch, and this is my wife. How do y'all? After a Pokemon battle, you should heal your Pokemon's HP, right? Here, I'll give you this. Ooh, thank you, a free potion. And one for you. He didn't even heal his Pokemon. He doesn't deserve it. Give it to us. Who's talking? It's nice to have potions when you're far away from Pokemon Center. By the way, you didn't happen to see a herdier around here, did you? I can't figure out where it went. Our two herdier were always together. I was going to say there's one behind you. And this is the first time one has wandered off, so I'm a little worried. You're a little worried? Are you kidding me? Your Pokemon might be lost forever. Whatever, I'll look. Mr. Four, help out. Uh, my question is, where are you going? Isn't that a dead end there? Why did he get so mad? I think it's probably just playing somewhere in the ranch. I wonder. By the way, dear, if your Pokemon get hurt, let me know. I'll make them feel better for you. Oh, no, it wasn't a dead end. Um, so we have a free Pokemon Center here. Or basically free Pokemon Center. You want to help out by doing that now? 
So we can get a first encounter here. Originally, you find Ryolu and Mareep here. And so, see, there's a Mareep. But in the grass, you originally find uh, Ryolu and Mareep, so... Hopefully we can get uh, something good. I do like Ampharos. Ampharoses are very, very, very cute. Oh, you want to fight? Oh. Well, then let me get my encounter after this fight. Just so we can see what we get and if we need to start leveling it up. What is up with all these steel types? Can we get a fighting type? Like, what? we get so many steel types early game. Can we not do this? We'll just stick with the same strategy. We'll tail whip it. You raise that all you want. And if he decides to give our Raticate a uh, Paralyze again, the Guts Boost, I mean, the Raticate freaking mollywopped the last clean claim. Now, does Water Assist Steel? That it does. Okay. So unless it pulls out a Thundershock, we can just sit here and keep on tail whipping it. Which even a Thundershock shouldn't, it shouldn't do more than 20, unless it crits. We'll find out though. It only did 6. We use this gear grind, let's tail whip it again and then we'll swap. Charge. You go ahead. You go right on ahead. Uh, we could see how much a tackle does. Uh, while we're in here, we might as well. Mm. Not enough to make me want to stay in. Alright, Plague. It's all up to you. Get this stab tackle in. Gear grind? That might hurt a little. Oh, it does nine apiece? Oh, give me a break. We can't even stay in on this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Can you go for like... I don't even know. I might have put myself in a bad position here. Okay. Alright, so hopefully a tackle can two-shot. Because... Oh boy, that gear grind is no joke. Oh, yes, easily. And he didn't even, he didn't even attack us, so we're good. Oh my gosh, I hate clean claim. Why is there so many of these early game? Like, come on. This is ridiculous. We really need a fighting or ground type or something in this next encounter. Bite? Ooh. Nice and dark type move right off the bat. This should uh, this should actually be of some help. It's not stab, unfortunately, but it should help. Let's get rid of... Uh... No, I don't know. Tail Whip could be helpful. We got a focus energy. We haven't critted using it yet, and Tail Whip is a guaranteed lower drop. So, All right, sweet. Withdraw, wonderful. Polytoad? Okay, well, finally we get something we can handle. We'll just stay in. Because if he wants to perish song, that will be fine. Let's just tackle. See how much a stab tackle does. Oh, so good. Ooh, you're going to slap my rat? My rat does not appreciate that. Ooh, slap my rat silly. First multi-move, multi-turn move. Not multi-turn, uh, multi-hit move. And it hits us five times. It's not a good start. So much XP! Oh my goodness. Gent Joe, even though he lost my Pokemon are still adorable. You uh, can say whatever you want. Alright, there's nothing here. Alright, we good. Let's go back and heal. And then let's get our first encounter for this ranch. Oh, the item's right there. Okay. Yeah, help me out, girl. Help me out, girl. And we'll come here to get this item and our first encounter. Alright, Flow Sussy Ranch. Survey says. Okay, alright. I'm not mad about a Manectric. Is this going to help with Clean Clang? Not necessarily. Not unless it gets Fire Fang really early on, but... Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh dang it. it should... Is it going to start with Thundershock? I feel like it might. Let's just do a Tackle. We can tackle it again. Thundershock is special, so I'm not worried about anything he hits us with here. Or anything she hits us with. A Thunder Wave. That's fine. Let's just, uh, let's just try and catch you. 
I don't know what we would name a female Manectric, but if we can catch it, that would be absolutely great. One, two, three, boom, let's go. Nice and easy. Manectric was caught. Mm. I'll read this in a second. Let me flow. How do you spell flow sessy? Like that? I don't know. Manectric. It discharges electricity from its mane. It creates a thundercloud overhead to drop lightning bolts. The discharge Pokemon Manectric. Um. What do we name a Manectric? I have no idea. I know my uh, friend names his Spike. That's if it's male. So what would be like a female version of Spike? Spake? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know of any like Thunder Dogs. Or Thunder Wolves or anything. Is Spike a multi-gender name? Spikey? <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm terrible with nicknames. I am absolutely the worst at nicknaming Pokemon. Um. Oh boy. Let me see. There's nothing from like Zelda or Final Fantasy or like Dark Cloud or Fantasy Star or Metroid. I'm just gonna name it Static. I'm gonna name her Static. But it's most likely her ability, and I don't know what else to name her. I'm telling you guys, I'm terrible with nicknames. We got a quick powder. Is that, uh. It's an item. So what exactly is it gonna do? If I type. Sure. An item to be held by Ditto? This, okay. I don't know if I've ever seen that before, but okay. Let's take a look at Spike here, or Static, rather. Oh, it comes with an item. What do you got? Netball? Alright, that's a free Pokeball. We got Thunder Wave, which will be nice in catching Pokemon. I saw that real quick. Timid Nature, Flo Sessi. Oh, it's two C's and one S. I did the opposite. I did one C and two S's. Which, obviously, is not correct. Alright, so we're, we're starting to build a little team here. Level 5, Manectric, Timid Nature, uh, Up Speed Lowers Attack. That's not terrible. Obviously, our special attacks are highest stats, so... We don't have any special moves for now, but... This will be okay. Thunder Wave will be helpful. Lightning Rod? That's okay. Alright, that's a pretty uh, good ability. Alright, well, we need to go back and heal. What else is in this grass? Service set. Metapod. Well, can I just say I'm kind of happy we didn't get a Metapod? I mean, it's not like Butterfree's terrible, but that wouldn't have helped our Steel type very much. I mean, I guess in technicalities, neither is, uh... You know what, let's let Spike... This thing is only going to have Harden. So Spike can come out and get some free XP off this thing. Maybe. Wow. Okay. Now uh, there's no point in leering, so we'll just howl. We'll just howl to catch up with this. See, this is where speed up is nice during dumb battles like this. Does this howl raise up by one stage or two? Just one. Okay. So after this, we should be able to take it down, hopefully in five hits or less. Otherwise, we'll be here a while. I mean, but like I was saying, Butterfree's not terrible. I mean, in terms of, like, Wi-Fi and stuff, it's trash. But in terms of just going through a Nuzlocke, it could be useful. That was not even worth any XP. Gosh dang it, that wasn't worth anything. Oh, that was worth trash. But, yeah, I mean, it's not like it's... Did Hody wander somewhere back there? Let's have a look. I didn't want to, I wasn't exactly trying to do that quite yet. 
Just making sure no more items, right? We good? We good? Okay, so I think right here is a good spot as any to wrap up today's episode. Next time we'll go looking for this herdier and then probably see what Alder wants to do. We're starting to build together a little squad, so I'm, I'm, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. So anyways, that is it for me. I will go ahead and once this saves, again, speed up's nice. I'll go ahead and see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you're enjoying so far. I'm having fun now that we're building a team. My my heart can slowly ease up, you know, so hopefully we don't find any more cling clings because those could be deadly. That's it for me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peeps out.